Okay, people, today we're gonna do a Crusadia deck profile. Uh, big respects to Vincent. He posted a going second variant of the deck, but my Crusadia build goes first. And yeah, let's get started. So, just to make it easy, every single Crusadia monster special summon their cells where a link monster points to. So like they're a really like easy uh, extender. First we play three copies of Crusadian Maximus. Uh, he has the effect to make your Crusadian monster deal double damage. So if you have Abramax, uh, like Abramax can deal like almost like 6,000 damage in one time. So he's really good to finish the games. And he's just an easy monster on the board. And then we're going to Crusadia Iborea. This card is actually really, really important in this deck because she's she's a tuner and she also gives you protection. If your Crusadia Abramax gets destroyed by battle, like how about you say your opponent activates Dragoon to negate his effect and uh, they're trying to beat it over by 3,000. You just banish her from the graveyard and just protect him or some spicy plays, you could actually go ahead and activate the Spellcaster Crusadia Monsters. Sorry, currently the moment, I don't have the English copies, in, Je in Japanese name is Makiono Paladion, and uh, Paladion, uh, and the names are really different, so I'm just going to call him the Spellcaster one. But you can activate his effect, target him, and target your opponent's monster, destroy both. But you could just banish her and protect your Spellcaster one. So, like, she also does kind of help go in second in a way. But, yeah, she's really nice. You play Crusader Draco. A really good um, consistency card. If you start with two Crusaders in your hand, you basically get to add your normal summon back to your hand. And because you didn't special summon it, you could just special summon that monster. Really good card. Then we go into the Spellcaster one. Well, I, I explain it. He pops a card. That's it. We go to Crusadia Leonis. Only two. He, he makes you deal piercing damage, but you really don't use his effect. Oops, sorry. Wrong order. And I wanted to fit in this guy. Uh, he's Link in Flyer. Uh, the English name might be different. But basically, he's an extra Crusader monster. That's searchable with Sign of Mine. Uh, you, you can special summon him wherever a Link monster points. So he's like an extra extender. Just want to have different, uh, different cards like that you could special summon. So I just cut off one. Leonis, and that's pretty much it. Format Skipper. Uh, what Format Skipper does is that you can just reveal your Crusadia Abramax from your extract. He becomes Abramax, and you can just go into uh, Crusader Magus. Then you could go ahead and search your one copy of Peril Exceed or Gachi at Ignister. This is what I play for the Cyrus package. Um, if you draw Parallel X Seed, you go full combo. And Gachi at Ignister is an option. If you already draw Parallel X Seed, he has two effects. One is you can negate a Cyrus monster on your board. Usually, if you're going to be special summoning Gachi, you'll be having Parallel X Seed. And you special summon him. When he leaves the board, you can target a monster on your field and make it unaffected to your uh, to your next turn. So he gives you protection. He's really good. Then you also have to do have the two parallel X seeds. So like yeah, these are just really nice. And I I didn't want to play three copies of parallel X seed because uh like. If you draw two copies of Parallel XC, it's like it's just dead in your hand. So I just like two. Then we play our hand traps, Nib. 
Then we play uh, Plague Pillar Zombie. He's actually really good if you draw into Red Eyes Fusion. I played a spicy deck, Red Eyes Fusion. Yeah, no, nothing spicy, but if you draw a Red Eyes Fusion or any of the Dark Magician cards, you just add it back to, to your deck. And uh, yeah, still go full combo, so he's really nice. We play one Dusty Robe, one Sound Boots. We do play um, a Rusty Bardiche, so uh, just two targets. And we play Red Eyes. I just like this artwork, so I picked this one. Dark Magician. Again, I like this artwork, so I picked this one. Then we play one copy of Reinforce, Reinforcement of... Uh, what was the name of this again? Forgot it. Sorry. Um, okay, we play the warrior uh, warrior type rotor. We just search Iboria with this card. So you basically have four copies of Iboria, one copy of Harpy's Fitter Duster, two copies of Potob. Uh, wait, Potob Avarice. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, I'm just getting confused because the Japanese names are, and the English names are really, really different. Okay, two copies of Sight of Mining to just uh, search your um, format skipper. Worst case scenario, you could just go ahead and activate Sight of Mining and just try to bay out your um, your opponent's Ash if you draw into format skipper in Sight of Mining. One Red Eyes Fusion. Yeah, the spicy card that everyone plays. Whatever. Then we go and ahead and play three infinite permanents. Personally, I think this is the best. Ha uh, this is still the best hand trap in the game. Two fog blades and one of the trap monsters. Go into the extra deck. We play two copies of Crusader Magus. Oops. Excuse me. Sorry about that. We play two in case you need to go into your extra deck on turn two or if your opponents break, break your board. Like, it helps you to just make another Abramax, so we play two copies. Currently, I don't have the copy and I was buying for my friend. Uh, we play one copy of Wing Spider in case if your opponent nibs. Honestly, they're gonna be nib. I uh, use nib on you if you when you summon Rusty Bardiche. If they know your combo and yeah, Rusty Bardiche, like yeah, you can just go ahead and link that off. And if you kind of feel your opponent's playing nib, or if you just want to play around it, you just keep your Peril Exceed Special Summon the. Link Spider, activate Parallel X Seeds, Special Summon it. You get two bodies on board. And at that point, you're probably going to be having your Plague Puller Zombie in your graveyard. So you just make that, and you'll have... Um, you'll have your Verde Anaconda and one IP Mascarena. So you can just make your Dragoon and Abramax. So, yeah, he, he actually does help playing through Nibiru, not playing around Nibiru. You're playing through Nibiru. Okay, we play two copies of IP Mascarena. Again, in case if you go in a grind game, you probably just want to have your extra copy. One copy of Needle Fiber, two copies of uh, Verde Anaconda. Um, Sorry, I'm also barring one when I'm like playing against my friends but why two is because there's a good chance they're gonna nib you when you summon Verde Anaconda and if that happens you just play another copy of it and they'll be like screwed up one rusty Bardish Bardish amazing card that's it <laughs> okay you play two copies of Crusadia Abramax. We play one of his Dweller and one Azus. 
sometimes like you could just overextend, have extra bodies on your board, and you could just make the Abyss Dweller. Next turn, you could just make your Abyss Dweller to the uh, Azus, so you just play both. It's really nice. One copy of Dragoon of Red Eyes. Good going first, good going second. You don't need your brain, you just win. Then we play, okay, the long name, uh, Salos Ellis Kronigius. I don't know. The English name might be different, but that's what it says in Japanese. So the deck profile is done. So we're gonna do a combo video. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a simple two car combo. It starts from Formant Skipper and any Crusadia monster. Okay, then, give me one second. Let me put this right here to make it a little bit more easier to understand. Okay, then, so we first normal summon Formant Skipper. Activate his effect to reveal your Crusadia, a Crusadia Abermax. Ever and we can link it off to Magus Pla uh, no, not Platinum, uh, Crusadia Ma Maximus. And then we activate Formant Skipper's effect to search our Peril Exceed. Special summon uh, Crusadia Maximus or uh, any Crusadia monster at this point. Activate uh, Magus Palladians, not, not, sorry, not Palladians, sorry. Crusadia Maximus, uh, no, not, Ma not Maximus, sorry. Crusadia Magus effect to search Iboria. And we link these two for our Verde Anaconda. Let me put this over here. Then we activate Peril, uh, Peril XC's effect to special summon. Effect to special summon another copy from deck. Then we special summon our uh, Crusadia Iboria. Link these two. Special summon. Needle Fiber, activate Needle Fiber's effect to special summon uh, Plague Flyer Zombie, activate Verde Anaconda's effect to make Needle Fiber a Dark Monster, link these off, then we special summon Rusty Bardish, activate Rusty Bardish effect to send Silent Boots to set a Fog Blade. So we have one thought later down here. Sorry if it's hard to see. Okay. Then we activate Silent Boots effect. We banish Silent Boots to go ahead and add the Trap Monster. We activate the Trap Monster to special summon it. We make a Link 2. And we make. IP Mascarena. We activate Verde Anaconda's effect to send Red Eyes Fusion to the grave. We send our Red Eyes and Dark Magician to special summon our Dragoon of Red Eyes. You pass your turn. You just go in to link these two and go into your. Mech Knight, Crusadia, Aramax, that, you, yeah, you just play around your opponent's, uh, what do you call it, um, what was his name again? Uh, Chimera Tech, Mega Fleet Dragon, if you're, they're playing Cyber, uh, Cyber Dragon, but not, you just have a busted board with two cards. If you have one, one extra extender, you'll be having double Fog Blade with this board. And I think it's pretty decent. It's really consistent because you just need two cards. You have like Loda. Well, you know, hope you guys will like it and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.